Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. The time has finally come for me to collect other compact toys. Of course, I am talking about the Shopkins Little Secrets Locks. They look like this and they are so beautiful. You can already see how shiny this one is. In terms of collecting other compact toys to add to my Polly Pocket collection, I wanted to start with Shopkins because this was the number one toy that was recommended to me by my friends and other comments that I've gotten on social media and my YouTube channel. Upon seeing these, I was blown away. I think they're super, super cute. I've already opened all of them so I know what they look like, but I haven't really gotten into the details, which I'm gonna do in this video. There is a total of 15 as far as I know. Let me know if I'm missing one. That is already a lot, so let's get started. These are the Shopkins Little Secrets Locks. There are 15 total, and here are the three different shapes. So we have a square one, a circle one, and a heart-shaped one. Each of these come with either a map or an envelope, and on the inside are different activities you can do. This is the invitation. If you open it up, we get a pretty pop-up, and it says right here, find these Shopkins in your invitation to open your secret lock. As we've seen, the locks are actually locked, and we have to find the combination in order to open them. So first we have to find this little guy, I already see him or her, so... There she is, and the first icon is a heart. There's the picnic basket with a second icon, which is a seashell. And the last little guy is this bouquet of roses, and she has lips. So the combination would be heart, seashell, lips. Of course, if you turn this over, the answer is right over there. For the ones that have the map, it is a similar concept, but there's a lot more going on here. These are the little guys we have to find. And it says we have to scratch them to reveal the code. So first we gotta find this makeup brush looking guy. There it is right there, so I'm just gonna scratch her off. That was actually pretty hard to scratch off. It almost doesn't even seem like you can scratch it at all, but I managed to do it and it looks like the Shopkins logo. I'm not gonna do the rest of them because it's self-explanatory, but again, the answer is right on the map. So if you turn it upside down, you'll see the combination. We're gonna start with the heart-shaped ones and like with the others that I've showcased on my channel, I always start with a pink one. This one is called So Sweet Candy. Here is the lock where we can put the code. And if you lose that little piece of paper, you can always check the back of these compacts. On the back here, we see the code. So all we have to do is put that into the lock. Here is the first icon. I'm just gonna line it up there. The next one is a coin purse. And the last one is a present. It is so beautiful and sparkly inside. I just love the color scheme because I love pink and pastels. There's also tons and tons of glitter. Unfortunately, the glitter does come off when you touch it. So what I'm gonna do is reinforce it with Mod Podge. And again, I have to compare it to the original Polly Pockets because I am a collector. And there's just not as much detail in this one, but it is very, very pretty. It actually has the same level of detail as the new rebooted Polly Pockets. Since it's a candy shop, we see all the candies back there. Also not a lot of functionality here, just a lot of static objects. We have this cash register, we have these details that are stickers. There is this little area here. I think I can pull this out. There we go, it came out just a little bit. There's a slide over here that comes down. The slide actually has a cute little pattern. The second level has a little bit more detail than the first. The very obvious one is this gigantic gumball machine. This compartment opens up. We also have these candy dispensers and just a bunch of candies stuck to the walls as decoration, looking like Willy Wonka up in here. Just like the new Polly Pockets, this one has a right angle limitation where you can't really adjust the angle of the compact. You can either have it flat like this or 90 degrees like this. The compact itself is very, very pretty. I love the shiny foil that these have on the front of the character. And of course it matches the theme of the compact. The patterns over here are also super pretty. And we even see a little lock over here. So that's really good attention to detail. The compact itself feels a lot like the original Polly Pockets and the Hidden Hideouts collection of the new Polly Pockets. The lock over here also opens, so if you wanted to hang this on your bag or somewhere in your room to display it, 
you can definitely do that and just lock it back in place. Just based on this first one that I've fully inspected, I really like it. I'm glad that I started collecting these and I totally get the hype because these are the toys of the new generation. When I first opened this and saw the characters, I absolutely went crazy because the hinge is back. This is exactly what the new Polly Pocket characters should have had. The technology is here. It was here all along. The character itself is in very, very good quality. I like the kind of plastic that they used. I don't quite know how to explain it. It's not the same as the original Polly. It's more matted, but I really, really like it. It feels nice. And the hinge is very sturdy. I especially love the designs because it's clearly inspired by Polly, but they didn't outright copy her design. We see the hinge and we see her feet, which are similar to Polly's, but her entire look, her face, is very different and unique. So her name is Lolita Pops, and that is a play on the word lollipops. She is wearing the cutest candy outfit. There's lollipops in her hair, lollipops in her dress. I also really love the hairstyles on these characters, and you guys will see the rest when I show the rest of these compacts. But the hair is so beautiful. The hairstyles are all really unique. Her face is very, very cute. I love the big eyes and the little tiny lips. Overall, I just absolutely am in love with these characters and I really wish the new Polly's look like this. So Shopkins, you did a really good job with these characters. This doll right here is actually called a Shoppy, and this little guy is the actual Shopkin. Her name is Butterscotch Bridget, and we can assume from the name that she is Butterscotch Candy. Let's go ahead and try it out. So here's cute Lolita Pops. I'm gonna put her on this one. She fit really nicely in there. I didn't have to push too hard, but it also wasn't too loose. There's a little area right here for the Shopkin. This one has a little hole on the bottom, and she just, pops right in here. That is super cute. By the way, if these stickers are damaged or scratched off for any reason, you won't be able to open this compact because it is totally reliant on the combination that's on the back. If I'm wrong, let me know because I always worry that something's gonna happen to these stickers and I won't be able to open this compact anymore. This one here is already a little bit snagged. I'm getting worried. Next, we have Dainty Dan Studio. On the front, we see the main character in this beautiful foiling design again. I can already tell that this is gonna be one of my favorites because I love the pink and purple color combo. And in here it is lavender and baby pink, which is even better. On the bottom is the actual dance studio. We can see the little dancing footprints. There's also this curtain that we can lift up. We can move this little thing across to look like she's dancing. There's a piano that is also a compartment. I really love this plastic thing with glitter inside. I think it looks really pretty. There's also several places to put the doll. The second level is just as cute. We see this area here that looks like a gigantic ballet shoe with a tutu on top. We can turn this dial here and see more ballet shoes. There's some musical notes here, a disco ball, another tutu looking thing, a relaxing lounge area, these stairs which look really modern, and a little practice area over here which also looks like a tutu. There's actually a lot of detail here which they colored in. We see some shoes back here, some more ballet outfits. This is one of the prettiest compacts I have ever seen. I absolutely love it. Our main character is Pirouetta. She is wearing an adorable pink ballet outfit. Her hairstyle is in this big, beautiful bun. I actually put my hair up in buns most of the time, so I'm really digging this hairstyle. Again, I love the quality of these characters. I love the design. I just can't get over how good the hinge actually feels. And here is our Shopkin. This is Puan Shu Su. That is really hard to say. And obviously she is a ballet shoe. The Shopkin has the same hole like the other one had, but we don't see that little area to put her in. I've actually gotten a chance to look at each of these compacts just to make sure nothing was damaged. 
And I've noticed that some of the Shopkins don't really have anywhere to stand, but they all still have the hole, so that's really weird. This next one is called Princess Hair Salon. The foiling on this one is magenta this time, and it is so gorgeous. This one has a pretty decent amount of details. First, we have these blow drying chairs. I think that's what they're called. And I'm just gonna put them up. I have been left under these for a couple hours when I used to go to the salon to get my hair dyed. And it is very, very hot. I've gotten headaches before. So now I cut and dye my own hair. That was just a bit of hair trivia for you. There is a throne here, of course, for the character because she's the princess. I feel like she has an entire salon in her castle because she's a princess, so why wouldn't you have your own hair salon? And I did say it had a decent amount of detail because there are still things that are a little bit lacking. I think with these mirrors, they could have added some sort of silver paint. There's a sink back here with cute heart mirrors. We have an ottoman, hair products, more hair products here, and these stairs which take us to the second level. I love this hairbrush. It looks like those Barbie hairbrushes. Opening this up, there is a Shopkin graphic. It looks like a strawberry wearing a crown. That's really, really cute and random. This is the mirror I was talking about, how there's silver in there, which look really nice. And I just think they could have also done it to these mirrors and the ones back here. There's some pretty banners up here for decoration. There's an elevator here and this goes down and back up. Our main character is Bubblelisha. I don't know why her name is Bubblelisha. I would think it would be Salonia or Hair Dryeria. Again, I love the hairstyles of these dolls. She has cute little curls. And our Shopkin is Harriet Hairdryer. She is a hairdryer, self explanatory. Next, we have Pretty Petals. I am actually blown away by this one. It has a lot, a lot of details. They did a lot of painting on each of these elements. It almost makes me wonder if each of these compacts were made by a different factory because some have more details than others. I am also loving the pastels. I think it really fits the theme of flowers and springtime. On the bottom, we have a flower cart over here. This flower is an umbrella. How cute is that? There's a platform over here for the Shopkin. There's some potted flowers back here. This giant flower is a compartment. We have a giant watering can, another flower stand, and the stairs here look like flower petals. I love that. Also, the wheel here is a flower. I just love the details in this one. I even really like the graphic, and a lot of the times I don't care for the graphic because they're badly designed, but this one, I really, really like it. On the second level, we see more gigantic flowers, vines, plants. There's these cute little boots with flowers coming out of them. There's a hidden compartment here. And of course the doors open, so let's take a look inside. And it is the actual shop where you can buy all these beautiful flowers. By the way, the door over here and this flower umbrella are made of a different kind of plastic that is very similar to what the dolls feel like. I think it might be made of PLA or that same material you use in a 3D printer. If it is, I actually really like it. I can also see myself painting over this and it would take the paint very easily. Our main character is Daisy Petals and it is such a fitting name for her. Her dress looks like flower petals. Her hairstyle, of course, is gorgeous. It's curly with a bunch of flowers on it. She also has a different expression. She is winking. And our Shopkin is Sunny Sunflower. He's a cute little sunflower and on the back he even has leaves, which look like his ears. And the last of the heart-shaped set, we have Lovely Hearts 
garden party. I love how this pink foiling looks against the pure white compact. I also don't see a lot of pure white compacts, so this one looks really classy. I love how this looks against my background. So we're back to a little bit of detail, but with this one, I don't even mind because it's so gorgeous. It just makes me feel so peaceful looking at it. On the bottom, we have a beautiful garden. There is a heart-shaped arch over here. We have this adorable swan with a princess crown and she swims when you turn this. This is also a compartment. This is actually a giant cake, it looks like. There's an angel statue, a fountain, a love seat, and I don't really know what these are. This is actually a wedding themed compact. So on the second level, we can see this three tier wedding cake. And if you turn it, there is a little compartment. We also have this heart banner right here that is hanging on this tree branch and we can just swing that out. Like I mentioned before, I really love these graphics. Whoever the graphic designer is, props to you because that is really beautiful. There's a lot more decorative elements over here. We have a bunch of flowers, balloons, but again, they're all just one solid color and it would look a lot more detailed if they just colored each of those individual elements. Our main character is Bridey. She is a bride without a groom because you don't need a groom. You do you, girl. Her wedding dress is super pretty. It has a lot of detail on it. There's a heart, there's ruffles. Her veil is also really gorgeous. Overall, she looks super classy and I'm just in love with her design. Our shopkin here is Cutie Crush Cookie. I don't exactly know what she is. She's certainly not a cookie. She also looks very sad. Why are you sad, Cookie? Now we are moving onto the circle ones. This one is called Genie Delish Wish Cafe. The hot pink foiling against the purple compact. So gorgeous. On the bottom, the first thing we see is this gigantic lamp. Let's open this up. It's the fanciest bed I've ever seen. And just like with Polly Pockets, there's also a loft. There is a magic carpet that swings out like this and it just moves along this track and looks like it's actually flying. This is such a genius design, the way it just flips out like that so that it's outside of the compact and gives the illusion that you're actually flying. There are some lounge chairs over here, some drinks and food. Again, the graphic is so gorgeous. We see some smoky elements here. They're probably clouds. On the second level, we have another gigantic lamp. This one actually looks like a hookah. I don't know if they realize that. And when we open this up, we see the shop. I love those beads in the background. They're very pretty. I just wish that they had filled them in. Maybe some gold that matches this gold over here. And we have another pretty graphic over here. Our main character is Gemma Stone, Oscar winning actress Gemma Stone. She has her genie outfit on with those signature pants. And those pointy shoes, they're so cute. Another cute hairstyle, I love the high ponytail. I also like how her hair color isn't a normal hair color, it's more gray, like that trendy ashy hair color that everyone's doing these days. And our shopkin is Telia Lamp. She is a lamp, but she also has tea inside. These shopkins are all very random and don't really make sense, but they're super charming. I don't know what it is about them, but I definitely see the appeal and I get all the hype because I can't understand them, but I like them. Up next, we have Bubbling Beauty Day Spa. I love how right away I can tell that this one is underwater. It's giving me Little Mermaid vibes and I love it. This giant seashell opens up into a bubble bath. There's a couple sea themed chairs over here. This fountain which lifts up to reveal a compartment. A relaxing little foot massage area over here. And this beautiful mermaid graphic. I love the seashell shaped sinks. That was a tongue twister. On the second level, we see a slide which I'm gonna put down. It actually goes straight into the bubble bath. 
this beautiful gigantic mirror that is actually reflective. I love this. There I am. Hi. There's another seashell here that comes down to reveal another random weird Shopkin. This one is a lipstick that is getting a cucumber facial. I just love the decor up here. There's lots of bubbles, starfish, seashells. I love how they did the translucent plastic. Our character here is Bubblea. She's a mermaid and I just love her mermaid tail. It's so pretty. Her hair also looks like bubbles and I think it's so creative and fun. Our Shopkin is Betty Beauty Basket. She's a little basket with a bunch of those spa towels. Next, we have Makeup Salon. We have another salon-themed compact, but this time it is makeup. We have this chair over here that opens up and it just slides along this track. There's a compartment over here. This is supposed to be a makeup salon, but I see some shampoo bottles. Maybe they're makeup removers or Korean skincare like I'm doing. This one lifts up to reveal another compartment. The graphic on this one is very basic, but I'm just gonna say that this is probably what they're going for, so it works. Not a whole lot of detail on the bottom. We just see some giant lipsticks, some bottles here. These are the stairs to the second level. Again, with a mirror, which I really love. I really like this material. This is the actual shop where you can buy makeup. We all know what that's like whenever we buy makeup at Sephora. We go in to buy one thing and we end up spending a couple hundred dollars. There's a giant lipstick over here, which is also a compartment. Now that I look at the bottom again, it looks kind of like a 70s sci-fi movie spaceship. Our shoppy is named Lippy Lulu. Lippy Lulu. Lippy, Lippy Lulu. Why is that so hard for me to say? Again, with her gorgeous hairstyle, look at those braids. I also love her gigantic bow with a little heart on it. Our shopkin is fluffy brushy, and she is a makeup brush. Next, we have Great Bakes Cupcakes. This one looks so fun and quirky. It reminds me of the Great British Baking Show, which I love watching on Netflix. We have a cupcake here that opens up into a compartment. Some chairs here that also look like cupcakes. Very cute design. There's some frosting over here, which looks kind of inappropriate. And when we open it up, we see more cupcakes. We also get our very first Shopkins door. So this is the first one I've seen so far. Going up the stairs, with sprinkles on it, we get to the second level. There's a teeny tiny oven over here with a cupcake. I love how this trim is made of frosting. And we have this gigantic mixer with icing all over it. And these are all of our dishes and baking equipment. Our main character is Jessie Cake. All of these names are really hard to say. She is wearing the prettiest red dress. I think she's also got some frosting on her hand. Her hairstyle is so sweet and lovely. She kind of looks like she's from the 50s. And here is our Shopkin whose name is Clover Cupcake. And the last one of the circle compacts, this super bright neon green is called Cutie Fruity Smoothie. It is so crazy in here. There's so much going on, so many bright colors. I really, really love it because there's a lot of detail. It also looks really unique. You can't tell right off the bat what's happening in here. So a lot is left up to your imagination. On the bottom, it looks like we are inside a blender. We've got some juices gushing all around here. There's a fruit stand, a giant banana, this chair that looks like a lime, a compartment over here. I really love these see-through chairs. There is also a gigantic drink with a gigantic straw to match. On the second level, we have another slide which comes down and it goes all the way into the gigantic drink. There's a blender here which you can tip over 
A bunch more giant fruits up here. We have a lemon, another banana, and just lots of fruit juices all around. It looks like Jamba Juice in here. Our shoppy is named Pineapple Lily. She looks very fruity and tropical. Her hairstyle is very fun. She's got some pink streaks. Our shopkin is Jody Juice Box, and she is a glass of juice. Moving on to the square ones, we have Peacock Gala. This one looks so fancy, like a very regal party where only important people are invited. We're gonna start from the top this time because it looks like you actually enter through those doors, come down the stairs into the party. Pretty much exactly what happens in movies where the girl has the mask to hide her identity and the guy falls in love with her but he doesn't know who she is. You know, just your typical love story. This large mask swings outward like this. This also comes down to create a platform. The background here looks so romantic and pretty. We can see that it's nighttime with those beautiful stars outside. Same thing on the bottom, we can see right through that window. Going down the stairs, we get to the party. There's a curtain over here. Of course there's a cake because you can't have a party without cake. And when you turn it, the platform turns. We've got a DJ booth, a lounge area, and all around this compact we see this trim right here that makes it look so fancy. And the carpet, of course, looks super fancy as well. And there's a random mask on the floor. Maybe they dropped it because they were in a hurry to get home before midnight. Our main character is Chandelia. She's wearing a beautiful dress with a masquerade ball mask, and on the back are peacock feathers. Her hair is up in these cute little buns, which I love so, so much. Our shopkin is named Mia Mystery, and she is a mask. It's a little odd that there are areas for the shopkin, but over here we can see that she doesn't have any holes. I don't know if the shopkin is supposed to go over her head like a mask, but it fits, so there it is. Next we have Pretty Paws. Right away, I really love this one because I love pet themed compacts. I'm also a dog person and I see a lot of dog stuff over here. The second level is cat stuff for the cat people out there. We see a dog house where you can slide the little platform. I really love this area over here because it looks like it's outdoors. We see the fence back there. Some more fencing over here. We get another really nice graphic. There's a dog bed over here. A slide with some paw prints. A cute little fire hydrant. And some food and water for our little pet. On the second level, we see this bathtub. So this is where the pets get groomed. There's a cat house over here. We also have a fish tank. A cozy little area over here. And this beautiful bird cage. I really love the design of this because it looks like it's both indoors and outdoors. It looks like we're in some sort of treehouse. I love the pet elements over here. The paw prints are just so adorable. Our main character is Belle and she has bells in her hair, so what a fitting name. Speaking of hair, her hairstyle is so adorable. This is probably my favorite hairstyle that I've seen so far. Our shopkin is Buddy Bone. He looks like a little dog chew toy. Up next, we have Fab Fairy Fashions. I have to point it out once again that I love pink and purple so, so, so much. This is another one of those compacts with glitter on them. On the bottom, we see a little fashion runway scenario. The floor is so pretty and magical. There's a full length mirror over here that stands up. And this is the catwalk. This flower over here is a compartment. We also have a changing room over here and another door that opens up. I just love little doors. They're so cute. And the door is a butterfly. On the second level, we have more beautiful fairy things. Two little fairy mannequins over here. Another fairy right here. There's a beautiful door here with stained glass butterflies. And when you open it, we see more beautiful clothes. 
That is such a pretty dress. I would totally wear that. There's also another fairy outfit over here. We have a spiral staircase that takes you to the upper level and this flower platform swings out. Our character here is Pommy. She's definitely not afraid to experiment with fashion. On the back, she's got cute little fairy wings and her hair is in a giant bun, which is one of my favorite hairstyles to do on myself. Our Shopkin is named Flitter Purse and she is a shiny metallic coin purse. She's also got fairy wings. Up next, we have Cute Scoops Ice Cream Shop. It's very icy and cold in here because we are inside a freezer full of ice cream and delicious frozen treats. There's a platform here that we can turn, a fridge over here that we can open, some ice cream on the floor over here. The graphic also has ice cream and sprinkles and this nice seating area where you can relax and enjoy your ice cream. On the second level, we see the super large ice cream sundae. There is some chocolate dripping right here, but it might have been an accident when they were producing this because it doesn't really have a clear pattern. It just looks like a stain. I'm just gonna say that this chocolate is dripping from here to here. The chairs here are made of ice cream sandwiches, which is super adorable. There's also a compartment up here. I really love how this looks. I like see-through things like this. Over here, we see a menu with the prices. Our character is Peppa Mint. Her dress has chocolate on it. It's very, very cute. Her bow also has an ice cream on it. She has a very simple hairstyle, but I like it because it just fits. Shivering soft serve, because we haven't run out of really hard names to say. And he is a bowl of chocolate and peppermint ice cream. And the last one in the series is Donut Stop. This one looks really fun. We can clearly see the donuts all over this compact. There's a giant donut over here with a bite taken out of it. And when you turn this donut tower, the whole platform also turns. I would like a donut tower. Where do I get one of these? A couple more seats so we can enjoy our snack. Some desserts over here. The floor has these circle patterns that look like donuts. There's also sprinkles right here, very cute. And up the stairs into the second level, we see more donuts. This big one right here with the icing dripping, a stack of donuts back there. More dripping icing over here. We also have this compartment and a compartment inside the compartment. And of course we have the cash register with the menu and more donut graphics. Our character is named Donatina. She's got two buns in her hair. I love that hairstyle so much. She's also got donuts in her hair. I really wanna try her hair color on myself. I wonder how that would look on me. Our Shopkin is Sarah Cereal Donut and she is one of those specialty donuts with cereal on them. It also looks like she is a jelly donut. I'm really craving donuts now and it's about 11 p.m. as I'm filming this and I don't have a donut shop near me that's open right now, I'm still thinking about donuts. These were so incredibly adorable, beautiful, colorful. I have no regrets whatsoever branching out into other compact toys. I really, really love the characters. I love that that little hinge is back. These toys also feel really good in quality and you don't get that with a lot of toys these days. A lot of toys nowadays just feel very cheap and quickly made. I just love that other companies are inspired by Polly because I just have this thing about compact toys. And again, it is because of Polly that I'm collecting compact toys specifically. I also can't wait to see what other toy companies do with this compact design. Thank you for watching the showcase and I'll see you on the next one.